Madre Sanctuidia et Spiritus Sancti Amen. In Troibo Avatare Dei. Adjero Purificati Regi Dei. Nunca me deo sedicene casa men de gentium sancta. Abomine nequa et dolenso erone me. Creator of Deus Fortis in Dei. Corrado me de felicity et quere tristis in Cielo. Dove fugi me in Dei. Emite lucem tua me veritatem tua. Ipsum de Deus Servum de Deus Servum in Montem Sanctum Tua et in Tabernacula Tua. Et in Troibo Avatare Dei. Resurrexi et ad hoc tecum sum Alleluia. Osuisti super me manum tua Alleluia. Mirabilis facta est scientia tua Alleluia, Alleluia. Domine, probasti me coniovisti me, tu coniovisti visione me et resurrexione me. Gloria Patria, Filio et Spiritu et Sancto, sicuta et principio et nuc et semta, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Resurrexi et ad hoc tecum sum, Alleluia. Os visti super me manum tuam, Alleluia. Mirabilis facta est scientia tua, Alleluia, Alleluia. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Gloria in excelsis Deo, et in terra pax omnibus, done voluntatis, Laudamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te, gratias agimus tibi propter magnum gloria tua. Domine Deus, rex celestis Deus, Pater omnipotens, 
Domine Filii Unigenite, Iesu Christe, Domine Deus, Amis Dei, Filius Patris, qui tolles peccatum unui miserere nobis, qui tolles peccatum unui suscite de peccatione nostra, qui sedes ad extram patris miserere nobis, quoniam tu solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, tu solus altissimus Iesu Christe, cum sancto spiritu in gloria Dei Patris, Dominus Domus 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 Deus qui hodiana die per ungenitum tuum et initatis nobis aditum, de dicta morte resurrasti. Vota nostra, quae prevenienda aspiras, et siam adjuvando pro sequere. Ere un nomen nostri Jesu Christum filium tuum qui te convivit et regna in unitatis spiritus sanctum. Deus per omnia secula, secul glori. Amen. Amen. Lexio Pistole Gazetari Apostoli ad Corinthians. Fratres expurgate vetus fermentum, ut citis nova conspersio, sicut estis asini. Et in impasca nostrum molatus est Christus, itaque eculemo, non in fermento veteri, neque in fermento malitiae et nequitiae, sed in asinus sinceritatis et veritatis. Deo gratia. Heic dies quam fecit dominus, exultemus et vetemur in ea, confitemini domino quoniam bonus, quoniam in seculum misericordia eus. Alleluia, alleluia, pasca nostrum immolatus est Christus. Victime Pascali laudes immolet Christiani, Agnus redimit ovens, Christus innocens patri reconciliabit peccatoris. Morset vita duello conflixere mirando, Dux vitae mortalus regna vius. Dic nobis Maria, quid vidisti in via, Sepulchrum Christi viventis, et gloriam vidi resurgentis, Angelicos testes, sudario vivestes, Surexi Christus fes mea, Recedet vos in Galileam, Scimus Christum surexisse a mortum misbere, Tu nobis victorex miserere, Amen, Alleluia. Dominus Augustum, Sequentia Sancti Evangelii, Secundum Marcum, Gloria to the Lord. In Elutem Pere Maria Magdalene, et Maria Iacovi, et Salome, et Meirut Aramata, ut venientis ungerent Jesu. Et valde male una salatorum, veniunt ad monumentum, auto iam sobe. E dicevat et imagem, quis revolvet nobis lapidem a obstia monumenti. Et respicientes viderunt revolutum lapidem. Erat qui per manius valde, et introiuntes in monumentum viderunt juvenem sedentem in dextris, coopertum stola candela et obstipuere. Qui dicitis, Non ite ex pervescere, Iesum queritis Nazareum crucifixum, Surexit non est hit, Ecce locus ubi possuere, Eum. Sed ite, digite discipulis eus et Petro, Quia precedet vos in Galilea, Ibi eum fidelitis, Sicut dixit vos. reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, purge out the old leaven, that you may be a new paste, as you are unleavened. For Christ, our Pasch, is sacrificed. 
Therefore let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, nor with the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. At that time Mary Morton and Mary the mother of James and Salome bought sweet spices, that coming they might anoint Jesus. And very early in the morning, the first day of the week, they came to the sepulchre, the sun being now risen. And they said one to another, Who shall roll us back the stone from the door of the sepulchre? And looking, they saw the stone rolled back, for it was very great. And entering into the sepulchre, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed with a white robe. And they were astonished. Who saith to them, Be not affronted, ye seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. But go and tell his disciples and Peter that he goeth before you into Galilee. There you shall see him as he told you. May I thoroughly abuse my position by being first on this. Easter morning, as the Gospel says, very early on this Easter morning, though the sun has risen, I wish you a very happy and a very blessed Easter. We have had 40 days of fasting and abstinence, and the Church now calls us to 50 days of rejoicing to take us up to the great day of Pentecost. May Easter joy be ours, and may Alleluia, well and truly, be the song on our lips and in our hearts. Politicians always seem to be on the lookout for the sentence that will enshrine them in history. Doubtless Pontius Pilate would rather not have some of the sentences with which we remember him. But there are others. Go back a couple of decades. Mrs. Thatcher, the lady who was not for turning. Go back a little further still. Harold Macmillan had several of them. And in between, Harold Wilson perhaps will be best remembered for the words, a week is a long time in politics. And if Harold Wilson was right about the politics of the 1960s and the 1970s in this country, it's equally true about that first Holy Week in Palestine 2,000 years ago. A week ago, was it really only eight days? We gathered to shout Hosanna as Christ the King entered into the Holy City. Was it really only six days later that we too, similarly, found ourselves shouting the words, crucify him? in the same holy city. And here we are, not quite 48 hours on from the events of the Friday afternoon, and once again things seem to have changed. The church looks different. Our liturgy contains words which we haven't used since Ash Wednesday. Friday afternoon seems like a very long time ago. So what may we say about this seemingly long, long period, not just this long week, but these long two days, which has brought, have brought us from the dead Christ of Calvary to the living Christ of the garden. Here, in our dispensation, it has been a time of this and that, of bits and bobs, not least church king decorating, at Woodcote putting up the tent which will be over us at our open air mass later this morning. It's been a time of photocopier maintenance and of paper folding. Was all on hand, was all waiting until the main action of Easter Day kicked in? Or has something rather more important been going on since we were here together on Friday, but out of sight? and out of our minds sometimes. Well, yesterday's 
divine office potently reminded us with words from a preacher, interestingly, whose name is now long lost to history, an anonymous sermon from the second century, that on Holy Saturday, the in-between time, Christ encountered Adam, the first man, and brought Adam forth hand in hand, his death sentence reversed. And we can add to that ancient picture. We may add Noah, who now knows the symbolism of a hill other than Mount Ararat, the cross, a new ark to save mankind. Abraham and Isaac know the significance now of a father who gazed upon a sacrificial son. Joseph has seen, Jacob rather, has seen a son more precious even than his Joseph, rescued from the pit. Moses understands what the Paschal Lamb really meant that first Passover night. And David now knows why his pen had been inspired to write the words, Thou wilt not suffer thy holy one to see corruption. The temple veil was torn, the graves open, all being made new. And it is vital to our faith to proclaim from the rooftops, to shout to the highways and the hedges, that the risen Lord is not a ghost, but an indestructibly alive human being. If God had left the body of the Son behind in Joseph of Arimathea's tomb, he would have ceased to have been the incarnate Lord. What God the Son assumed at the Annunciation was not laid aside like some discarded piece of clothing on Easter Day like the shroud left behind in the tomb. No, far from being thrown into corruption, as the psalmist prophesied, the flesh and blood which God the Son took in Our Lady's womb was flooded with glory. For the resurrection does not undo the incarnation. Easter is not a question of God's normal service being resumed after a curious 33-year-long interruption. Quite the opposite. It is precisely in this virgin-born body, scourged by Roman squaddies, spat upon by Jew and Gentile alike in the streets of Jerusalem, nailed to a criminal's gibbet, deposited hurriedly in someone else's borrowed tomb, that the Son of God rises from the totality of death. The New Testament stands or falls by the truth of the fundamental preaching which we hear in today's Gospel and in those written records of the Church's earliest preaching and in the formularies which we affirm every Sunday of the year in the Creed, that on Easter night, unseen by human eye, the Father raised up the Son totally and wholly, his body from Joseph of Arimathea's tomb, his soul from Sheol, the place of the dead. We see the risen Lord. We encounter the flesh which the women initially mistook for the gardener, and the flesh which Thomas will come to touch in a week's time. Here is true resurrection joy, and we rejoice not just at what it meant for one particular body and soul, but what it means for all those who are his. Our bodies and souls and the bodies and souls of all our departed loved ones have a pledge of resurrection life. Here is charity, here is faith, here is hope, here is glory. And as Gerard Manley Hopkins, that priest and poet put it, I am all at once what Christ is, since he was what I am. And this Jack, joke, poor potsherd, matchwood, immortal diamond, is immortal diamond. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
Edo in unum deum, patrem omnipotentem, factorem celi et terre, visibilium omnium et invisibilium, et in unum dominum Jesum Christum, filium dei unigenitum, et ex patre natum ante omnia secula, deum de deo, lumen de lumine, deum verum de deo vero, genitum non factum, consubstantialem patri, perquem omnia facta sunt. Qui propter nos homines et propter nostram salutem, descendit de celis. Et incarnatus est de Spiritus Sancto ex Maria Virgine, et homo factus est. Crucifixus et siam pro nobis, sub Pontio Pilato passus et sepultus est. Et resurrexit tertia die secundus scripturas, et ascendit in celum, sedet et extram patris. Et iturum venturus est cum gloria judicare vivus et mortuus, cuius reni non erit finis. Et in spiritum sanctum dominum et vivificantem, qui ex patre filioque procedit, qui cum patre et filio simul adoratu et congloricatu, qui locutus est per profetas. Et unam sanctam catholicam apostolicam ecclesiam, Confitio unum baptisma in remissionem peccatorum, et expecto resurrectionem mortuorum, et vitam venturis sacroni. Amen. Dominus Tobisco. Amen. Terra tremuit, et quievit dum resurgere in judicio Deus. Alleluia. Orate fratres. So should be at the supplication of the Lord his merits. Allow the Lord in the soup. And the Lord in the cup of the Lord in the soup. Spread the face of the soup. Omnia secula seculorum, Dominus Obiscum, Sursum Corda, Gratis Agamus, Domine Deo Nostro, Veredini Justine, Ecum et Sanitare, Te Quidem Domine Omni Tempore, Sed in hac fortissimum die gloriosius predicare, Cum Pascha Nostrum Immolatus est Christus. Ipsa enim verus est animus, qui absolut peccatum mundi, qui mortem nostra moriendo destruxit et vitam resurgendo reparatus. Et in Deo cum angelus et archangelus, 
tu tremens et dominationibus, cumque omnum militia celestis exercitus in gloria tu etale. Sine fine dicentes, Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus Sabe, Pleni succede et terra gloria tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis.
Gebete in ihrem täglichen Prozess anderen Gläubigen zu zeigen. Dann verbringe ich Zeit mit der Liturgie, Vorsicht und Zeit mit dem Nikolaus. Und in dieser Zeit kann ich auch Kurs machen. Das ist ein guter Kurs. Wenn man nicht weiß, wie zu beginnen ist, die Witwe hat sich eine Mütze gekauft, die alle Frauen von Mann hatten. Die Mann hat sich die Mütze gekauft, hat sie nicht mehr gemacht. Now this quote by Takatoribus. Seculas seculorum, oremus precepti sanitaribus monti, et divina institutione formati a reis dicere, pater nostre, qui es in celis, sanctificetum nomen tuum, ad venia rendi tuum, via voluntas tua, sicut in celo et in terra, a nostrum quotidianum rentes parire, es dimis in nobis debita nostra, Sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentatione. Secula, seculorum, pax dum, sit semper obiscum. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, misere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, misere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis.
Ecce Anastasi, Ecce Catholic Facatum Dei, Domine non sedinius, ut intra subtectum meum, sed tantum de verbo exonavita anima mea. Domine non sedinius, ut intra subtectum meum, sed tantum de verbo exonavita anima mea. Domine non sedinius, ut intra subtectum meum, sed tantum de verbo exonavita anima mea. Ascanostrum volatus es Christus, alleluia. 
Itaque polemo in asin sinceritatis et veritatis. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Dominus Obisco. Oremus. Spiritum nobis domine tue veritatis infunde, ut quos sacramentis pascalibus satiasti, tua facias pietate concordes. Er Dominum nostrum getum Christum filium tuum, qui te convivit et regnat in unitate nos conspiritus sancti. Deus per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Dominus Vobiscum. Ita missa est, alleluia, alleluia. Deo gratias, alleluia, alleluia. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater, et Filius, et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Dominus Vobiscum, initium, Sancti Evangelii, secundum Ioannem, Gloria Tibi Domine. In principio erat verbum, et verbum erat apod Deum, et Deus erat verbum. Hoc erat in principio apod Deum, omnia per ipsum factus sunt et sine ipsum factum est nihil quod factum est. In ipsa vita erat et vita erat lux homin, et lux in tenebris lucit et tenere eam non comprehendeo. Fuit homo misus a Deo, fuit nomen erat Ioannes. Et veinis in testimonium on testimonium per viberat in lumine, ut omnis credum in per illum. Non erat ille lux, sed ut testimonium per viberat in lumine. Erat lux vera, quae illuminat omnem hominem venientum in hunc mundum. In mundo erat et mundus per ipsum factus est, et mundus eam non conniudit. In propria venit it sui eim non reciperum. Quot quot autum reciperum deum, ved it eis potestatum filios dei via vitis, cui credit in domine eos, qui non ex sanguinibus neque ex voluntate carnis, neque ex voluntate vir, sed it deo nati sunt. Et verbum carum factum est, et habitavit in nobis, et vidimus gloriam eos gloriam quasi unigenitia patria, Plenum gratiae et veritatis, Deo gratias. I would invite friends praying this Mass over the broadcast to use the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you in Holy Communion now, at least come spiritually into my heart. As if you have already come to me, I embrace you, and join myself wholly to you. Do not allow me to distance myself from you. Amen. Regina Gemini, let her alleluia, quia 